what's going on guys zebs here bringing you my very first after effects tutorial so um today we're gonna be going over the audio spectrum so um if you've ever seen a music channel or anything of that sort then you would see that there's a bunch of lines and whatnot like popping in sync with the music which is pretty cool um so today i'll be teaching you guys how to do that um also keep in mind that this is my very first after effects tutorial i am still learning after effects so if I do something wrong or a long way or anything of that sort, just go ahead and tell me guys and leave a comment down below on something like that. So today I'll be showing you how to make something of this sort. Alright, so that's basically what we're going to be creating, which as you can see, we have a kind of rainbowy look and... Um, it's all in sync with the music, so I'll be showing you how to do that, and I'll show you a couple other cool little things you can do if you're planning on starting a music channel or just for whatever you guys want to do. So to start off with, we are going to create a new composition by doing Control N, or if you don't want to use keep or um, shortcuts, just go compens compensation or composition, and then new composition. So do that, boom. Another cool thing you can do is if you go into your music or whatever you want to do just double click the uh, th the song you want to use in this case and we're just going to drag it up that makes it the length of the song and everything like that so it's cool um so the next thing what we're going to be doing is we're going to now that we have this we are going to be going to our layer thing here so to start off with we're going to right click and go new solid now what this is is basically a black background that we're going to be using as a background so we're going to name it background um boom we're going to drag this behind the song and then we're going to create a new uh, background or a new solid and we're going to name this one um, just call it spectrum so this will be where we uh, kind of edit our stuff a little bit in our spectrum so the cool thing about after effects is after effects is more has a lot of effects and things like that so this audio spectrum type thing that i'll be changing today is all built into the after effects so you don't need any plugins or anything like that now there is plugins you can use to make this these uh... this kind of audio spectrum effect look way cooler things like that so if you've been in my personal channel i did use some plugins and things like that um... so things like that so there you go so to start off with in this we're going to go into effect and then we're going to go into generate and then once we're there, you're going to see a bunch of options here. We are going to be going into the audio spectrum. Um, what this will do is it will create a just line here, very pink with by these colors. And um, we're going to be, I'll be showing you some cool little things you can do to make your own cool little thing. Um, so to start off with, if you're new to After Effects, um, these, these are where your effects are, everything of that sort. So where you're going to be editing the settings and things like that. Um, if you click this, it takes you back to the project, so and so. Alright, so to start off with, as you can see, if I scroll down the timeline, nothing's happening to this at all. Well, the reason that is, is because we haven't linked this with any song yet. So to do this, we're just going to go into Path, or not Path, Audio Layer, and as you can see, it's set to Spectrum, which is what we named it, which is this black, um, black, black background. So we're going to just click it, and we're going to select the song, which is, well, Mark Madness Bullet, if you're curious. And as you can see now, that uh, it's now starting to get a little spectrum here but it's kind of boring I mean you could do this if you want but I'll be showing you a cool some couple a couple other things you can do to make it look cool so to start off with just kind of skip through a little bit to a part where there's you know some lines so you can tell the difference so to start off with we are going to be making it kind of rainbowy you know where it's always changing colors now to do this all you have to do is go into the hue interpolation and we're just gonna bring the use the scroll wheel all the way up and as you can see it's starting to cause a kind of rainbow effect so now if we start playing through it it's starting to change colors and through like and uh, go through like that which I find pretty cool I like the rainbow um, a lot so once we've done that one cool little other thing we can do is um, change these colors if you want these will give you different rainbow effects so I, I don't really want to mess with them right now just keep it basic um, so once we've done that as you can tell the, th the lines are a little bit small and um, I kind of want to make them a little bit bigger so what you would do is you would want to go into maximum height um, so to do this all you have to do is just click left click the uh, the number and you just bring it up and this will make them higher you know a longer distance um, so I'm just gonna lower it a little bit so just reasonable distance I should say so something like this something like that's good 
So once we've done this, what we're going to then do is um, probably go into frequency bands. So what this does is it it adds more frequencies to the uh, the song or the, the spectrum. So as you can see here, if I have a very low amount, there's not very many uh, little bar thingies here, um, which can be pretty cool, I suppose. But um, a lot of people like to have a large amount, so something of this sort. You could have an insane amount, I suppose, which... Is actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, as you can see, rainbowy. Uh, so once we've done that, we can um, we can also do a cool little thing, which is have it on one side. So if you want it just at the bottom, we just pick side B. And this is um, a cool little thing that people do. They have it on the top of the screen, and they have this like playing kind of, um, and then they just duplicate it, and then do side A, which is the opposite. Um, by default, it's set on side A and B, so it's both sides. Um, so I find this as a cool little thing. So basically what I'm doing here is just showing you some cool little settings that you can do that you might not know or that you might do know. Um, so things like that. Um, so once we've done this, you may be asking, well, how to how do you get a circle, as you may have seen on uh, some people's videos? So to do this, all you have to do basically is go into... A, what is this tool called? Just the like the the ellipse tool, and we're just gonna get the ellipse tool here, um, and then we're gonna hold shift, left click, and just drag it to a size that you want. So something like this will work, I suppose. And we're just whoops, we're gonna highlight it, and then we're gonna move it. Oops, what just happened to it? Oh, and Control Z and do it again. As I say, guys, I'm still learning After Effects kind of, so something like that. I don't know what just happened. Um, so we're gonna have our basic size here. Select it, and then we're going to move it just somewhere, you know, somewhere on the screen. And as you can see here, it's kind of just stuck in the circle. So to do this, we're now going to go into Path, select Mask 1, and then now it's um, synced in the circle with the uh, thing we just made. So now it's masking that. So now you can have inner stuff. So if we were to play it, um, give it a second, it's now playing in the, um, the inner circle, which is pretty cool. You could also do A and B, so it does now both sides, um, which I, I suppose works. Some people do that, but a lot of people like to do side B, where it's basically just doing the outer part, and then they just raise the um, frequency height up a bunch, which I guess... So one thing I don't know that for all you After Effects pros out there is um, how, why is there a square there and how do you get rid of that? Um, so that's something for all you After Effects pros, but I mean, you can raise the bar higher, things like that, which I, I suppose is kind of cool. Um, but I personally kind of like having it inner, like this. I like that one a lot. And then you could have your logo in the middle, something like that, which is pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on audio spectrums. Um, again, very first tutorial on After Effects, so I'm going to keep it basic for me and you guys. Uh, maybe I'll do some more complex things as I learn more. Also, if you guys do want more After Effects tutorials by me, uh, just leave a comment down below. But um, I wanted to try something different a little bit, you know, spice things up. Um, I did get a new setup. I'm also in the new house right now, so things might sound a little bit different. Could be worse or better. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, it's been your host today, Zebs, and I am out. Peace.